Hey guys, me Robert Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. Things starting to come to a close now with this uh, the storm cycle. So here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. Um, the last piece of this is going to rotate down through Utah and finally into Colorado and New Mexico on 210 and distribute some light to moderate snow accumulation for both places. And then that's it. The storm exits on 211. The pattern starts to shift to the northern tier. 211 through 216. So places like British Columbia and uh, Washington State, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming will get the most snow during that time period. And then the pattern's going to shift a little further back to the south. California in the interior Rockies, 217 through 220, with a nice strong subtropical jet stream blowing in moisture during that time period. So that might be promising. And also looking at the Northeast for potentially some moderate to heavy snowfall accumulation in places 212 to 213. So we'll look at all that in this update. I want to show you water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. So really, it's all about this large storm system out here. And there's a few little smaller lows kind of rotating around it. But all of this will continue to pinwheel out here in the, uh, the Pacific Ocean. Everything just kind of moving around. There's nothing really to break it loose at this point. And most of the flow now is going to kind of be directed up into the Pacific Northwest, BC, and Northern Tier. Now, until this actually breaks loose, we won't see a change from that. But it will, potentially after 217, this whole cluster will start to move towards California. And then eventually that breaks uh, the door open, and we start to see moisture through Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Colorado, 217 through 220. Let me show you the jet pattern so you can really see how this works. So, Here's the jet by the end of the day today. You can see the trough coming out of Utah and rotate, rotates into Colorado, New Mexico. There's 210 um, late in the day. That's the last part of it. And then the whole thing moves away and the jet stream shifts to the northern tier. And that's where we're going to see the ribbons of snow set up for probably three or four days, maybe five days. And you can see it just playing out. There's 216. Now we start to see things shift around. Everything starts to come back a little further to the south and this big subtropical Pacific pattern the tropical jet starts to be the dominant player and pushes everything into California. And then eventually that jet will guide it into Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Colorado. Watch the jet on the end of, end of day 218, steering it right into the Intermountain West. Let's put some precip on this, and here's what's left. So this is 530, forecast radar and satellite. Here comes the whole storm rotating down through the four corners, and by the time we get into 210, it's all about Colorado and New Mexico. That storm system by 211 rotates out, and then everything starts to hit the Pacific Northwest and Northern Tier. There's 212 late, 213. It's the same kind of thing. These ripples just come through, lay down snow accumulation. There's 215. Um, and the Tetons could be one of the snow bullseyes during this time period. Wait till you see the numbers on that. Now here comes that Pacific pattern. So this is 217. Look at that. All of day 218. All of this moisture coming out of California, moving into the interior, and just kind of getting slammed into the uh, the four corners, Colorado, and also Wyoming. So there's 218 in the in the morning. There's 218 in the afternoon. Same kind of pattern, west to east. All right. Let's look at the latest numbers here. So between tonight and all of tomorrow, um, the leftover accumulation, maybe another inch in the Wasatch, a couple down in Bryan Head, but one to four in Colorado, uh, maybe five or six down around Taos and Ski Santa Fe and Angel Fire, a little bit of leftover snow up there in Wyoming and also Montana. All right, let's go to the pattern shift 211 through 213. Everything's in the northern tier and BC. We could be looking at six to 10 inches up there around Kicking Horse and Revelstoke, Fernie, Red Mountain, Whistler, more around Baker potentially six around Schweitzer in northwest Montana, two or three in the Tetons, but wait till you see this period. So this is 214 to 218. You combine with another shot of some colder air finally coming out of Canada, help to kind of get the ratios moved up a little higher, uh, potentially a couple of feet there over the Tetons, and about a foot in Montana out of this in central and northern Idaho, uh, potentially. And what you see in Utah and Colorado is really 17, 18, and 19. So. The foot in the Wasatch comes 17, 18, 19. The numbers in Colorado, 17, 18, 19. And then up in the Pacific Northwest, we're looking at a pretty nice flow. And then finally some snow coming back to California um, late in that period, 17, 18, 19. Okay, let's go to the Northeast. One last stop. So storm tracks still kind of favoring areas south of the major ski areas um, through parts of New York State and also Massachusetts with potentially 3 to 10 through Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And that happens mainly on 212 and 213 with a storm system, um, a rather strong storm system that comes through that area. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it and take care.